The January floods brought a close community even closer. That strong support from neighbors drew us to come back again and again to learn more about the bonds that grew over the months. I and many of my colleagues followed through with people's stories of struggle and many times overcoming them. Nothing highlights this more than when we saw how almost eight months later, the community helped 82-year-old Rosalvo Belmontes finally return home. Rosalvo Belmontes was feeling nervous, nervous, while walking into her Emerald Hills home for the first time in almost eight months. Ay, mira que bonito. Oh, look how pretty. Words she must have uttered a dozen times mm -hmm. as she looked around. Beautiful. Each time getting a little more emotional. Mira que bonito. New appliances, new furniture, and even new decorations. Look at my lip. <laughs> the reason everything is new? January 22nd. 22nd. I never forget that day, okay? Because everything she had before went underwater. Oh my goodness, my water, the water coming through here, and I don't have no shoes, everything is a lot of water, a lot, a lot. My clothes, my everything. Destroyed? Destroyed. She moved in with her daughter, but was bedridden for almost a week. One week. I can walk like this. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> because I can walk with a lot of water, a lot of everything. And without flood insurance, the question became, how would she get back home? ABC 10 has been following through on the journey. From a volunteer cleanup of the home in June to watching Rosalva get active again. See it about mom's face, and I know that she's going to be having a tear. To walking through the home with her daughters. The whole bathroom had to be redone. And the Harvey Family Foundation when they first took on the project in July. See, 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 see. And in a matter of a couple months. Thank you so much. Oh. Everything is so beautiful. No problem. I want to cry. <laughs> <laughs> Rosalva can finally move back in. Well, I feel like a mil millionaire. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't a million dollar project, but it was about $200,000. And it was completed at a fraction of that price, a model the Harvey Family Foundation hopes to replicate with cooperation. The money that they were able to get through FEMA and or insurance, if they do have that, putting that into the places that we can't touch with the funding and the grants that we are able to have, just them showing that they are invested in getting back in their home just as much as we are getting them back into their homes. The donations and the grants that were donated to us, as well as the contractors who are, you know, uh, able to cut some of the corners. Plain financial gymnastics was the only way to get Resolva back inside. What's your favorite part of the house? Everything. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can say, I guess only the, no, no, everything, everything, outside, inside, everything, everything is beautiful. But there are still dozens more families on the waiting list and dozens more who are not on the waiting list because of a lack of funding. And I want to highlight that last point here. In just the last couple of weeks, Armand Harvey says they had about 50 more houses sign up needing help. He blames a lack of information. Many people have been waiting on insurance companies who told them not to touch anything but only take pictures. And as you can imagine, some families left their homes in disrepair since January, and now that they're realizing help may not be coming, they reached out to the Harvey Family Foundation. But until they can raise more funds, we're not going to be able to see people going back home like what we saw in Resolva's case. So if you want to donate to the foundation, we have a link on our website, 10news.com, under this story.